Hello there! The Flip Fluids add-on is now available in version 1.8.0 and this release primarily focus on bug fixes and prepare the code base for the exciting upcoming compositing tools which will be released in a future update. So stay tuned until the end of this video for more details on these tools. Flip Fluids 1.8.0 is officially supported in Blender version 3.1 to 4.1. We have tested Blender 4.2 Alpha, but due to some known issues it is not fully compatible at the moment. A significant change in this version is the handling of whitewater. Previously we used instances for rendering, but now we have switched to Geometry Node's point cloud rendering at the new default. Because point cloud rendering is much more powerful and allows you to render millions of particles with less resource consumption on your workstation. It is also performing much better than instances when working in the 3D viewport. You will find all the settings in the FF Motion Blur Whitewater modifiers. The same modifiers and geometry node networks that also are used for motion blur. A quick tip, point cloud rendering is currently not possible with Eevee. If you need to use Eevee, you enable instancing in the motion blur modifier. But remember, Eevee will perform much slower compared to the cycles engine when handling a large number of particles. For more details on how this affects your older blend files, please refer to the full release notes linked in the video description below. The tab domain settings are now enabled by default and some preferences have been organized into tabs too. Blend files will now be automatically saved before launching command line operators. And the remove motion blur operator has been removed as it is no longer relevant. Instead, we have added an on off toggle to the flip fluid sidebar. Alright, that covers nearly everything for this update, but before we wrap up, Here's a sneak peek into the compositing tools I mentioned in the beginning of this video. These tools will help you to combine 3D animations with real video footage. We are working on assets and a passes rendering system that will give VFX artists more flexibility in post-production. Don't miss any updates on this development and make sure to subscribe to our channel. That's all for this time. Thank you for watching and now enjoy your first test composition made with the new compositing tools.